beauties welcome back to my beauties and big sister channel and to a charlotte tilbury makeup tutorial because there is a brand new walk of shame collection i've been on a holiday in mexico which was by the way amazing i had such a lovely time really really chilled out and relaxed pretty much just laid on a sunbed for like 80 percent of the time and i have come back all refreshed and ready to get straight back into work and this is one of the first packages that i opened and i was like <gasps> I need to film a video ASAP. So I've used the new products in this look, so if you want to see what I think of them and how I've created this look, then just keep on watching. We have new shots to free. You see this colour, tissue, you know it's gonna be an exciting delivery. Okay, let's dive straight in to the new luxury palette. I really like these palettes because they're a really good size, especially if you're going away. If you want to pack this into your makeup bag, it's actually quite dinky. It's called the Walk of Shame Luxury Palette. So we have this beautiful shimmer, which looks really nice. And what I learned from before is that Charlotte likes to prep the lid with this. Actually very, very soft and light. Um, then we have this shade right here, which looks more like a burnt amber kind of colour, again with a little bit of sheen. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Buttery, really gorgeous formulas. Okay, now this looks more of a glam shade, a lot more sparkly. Yeah, that is stunning. I love that with the glitters, they're not glitters, they're more shimmers, they're just really subtle. There's nothing like two out there. And this purple, I mean, I'm excited for this one. This is giving me autumnal vibes. I am enjoying this. Number one, we're going in with the shimmer, which Charlotte taught us in the last video when we followed Charlotte's tutorial and I was baffled. Really, really, really need to clean my brushes. Number one, the shimmer. Love. Really, really pretty shimmer. Just gives a nice like veil to the lid. Could definitely just leave the eye look like this to be honest because it's a nice champagne colour. I just realised I haven't put any highlight on. Do you know what? This looks like a great highlight shade. So before I go on, because it's weird to go on without any highlight, <laughs> I'm gonna just pop that onto my cheekbones. Let's see if this works. Love this brush for highlight. This is the Real Techniques setting brush, I think. But that looks blooming amazing. How pretty. Oh my god. So you've got a highlight in this palette, as well as an eyeshadow dream. I am, oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like a really buttery formula. So it's actually like gliding on beautifully. Right, now we are going to enhance with number two, which is this burnt amber. And I'm gonna take that start from the outer corner how pretty is that finish it's like a molten metal kind of finish i am getting a bit of fallout which is slightly annoying oh, it has swept away quite well to be fair really like this amber shade how pretty now i'm gonna go in with flat brush with a flat brush you just really do get the pigment come through more like that is so much more dominant i'm actually just gonna pack on this colour in the outer corner as well. I would definitely recommend to use this palette before doing the rest of your makeup because the fallout is really annoying. Okay, right, I'm not gonna worry about the underneath of here at the minute. We can do that at the end. Um, I'm gonna go in with number th uh, oh. This is so weird, I would have presumed it would have gone one, two, three, four, but it's one, two, three, four. So bear in mind that. We're gonna smoke it out now with number three, which is the beautiful deep purple. <gasps> this shade looks pretty stunning. Building these shades up. Oh my God. <laughs> I love that these are all shimmery shades. Oh, that purple looks so nice underneath. Do you know what, these shades look amazing as a blush. I actually look a little bit nuts right now. I don't know what to do. I look like I've been in extreme heat. I look like the guy in the hangover. <laughs> Charlotte, magic away. Let's see if you can magic away red. <laughs> also, big fan of this concealer. This is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. 
I don't really use that smaller side, but I do like this bigger side for blending in concealer. Okay, this is good. I really like that as a blush. Now let's go back in and add that highlight that we've probably lost <laughs> from doing that amount of concealer. This is stunning as a highlight. We have recovered the situation. <laughs> I'm now gonna go in to the beautiful shimmer, which is number four, which is pop. That is so so gorgeous i mean it just glides on it's more like a shimmer rather than a glitter which i personally prefer it just looks really really effortless that is pretty king uh full fat lashes by charlotte tilbury i am loving that eye look i thought it was going to be a lot more intense and plummy but actually because it's got that shimmer to it it's just so pretty like this is a way of doing of an autumnal dramatic eye look by still having the subtleness to it so i'm living for this i'm gonna go in with a brand new lip cheats this is in the shade walk of shame it looks like a oh yeah nice rich deep shade of what would you say that is like a burgundy kind of shade um so obviously with the lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner you can give the illusion of fuller lips so we're going to slightly overline with this i do love the texture of this lip liner i do have quite a few of them and you can see just how well they glide on. That looks like such a nice colour. Now we're going to go in and finish it with the Matte Revolution Lipstick. This says a cashmere cream texture with a soft matte finish. Enriched with papaya and orchid. Nice. Again, the shade is Walk of Shame. It's just such a rich, like smooth, chic shade really like this matte formula i would have liked the lip liner to just be a little bit darker than the lipstick to really emphasize the lips but the lip liner has given my lips a really nice shade this color is beautiful like i love 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 this color Let me know what you beauties think of this makeup in the comments below i think it's definitely something different for me like i don't normally wear eyes this dark or lips this dark so it definitely is something different but i am living for it i think it's so nice Do you know one thing i'm actually just going to finish with a little dusting of the brand new airbrush flawless powder this i've been using loads really really like it like it's a really nice powder just wanted to finish with that because it does give you that kind of nice airbrush look there we go let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you beauties in my next video bye